Winner gets to choose. Winner gets to choose. Okay, sounds good. Ready? Here, we're gonna screw with Cole. Just like that. One to zero. Oh, right away! Yeah. <laughs> Double overtime is nothing. What's up, members? Really quick before we hop into the video, and you guys get to see Coleslaw, the angry millennial camera guy's most epic freakout of all time. I want to let you guys know two very simple things. It's Black Friday today, and that means I'm going to have you guys save a little bit of money. I know you guys are all a big fan of the Waterland Sunglasses, my, my sunglass company that me and Casey and Garrett started. Well, we're actually going to run our sunglasses uh, the cheapest price just of the entire year. That's right, 30% off site-wide sunglasses, apparel, hats, everything. Go pick up your Waterland right now. It makes an awesome gift or treat yourself. All you gotta do, waterlandco.com, top of the description right there. Check it out through the rest of the weekend. And then one more thing, of course, if you guys wanna suit yourself with some Melican Fishing merch, um, hats, outerwear, jackets, the Polytech jacket, the nice, the poofy jacket, everything. It's all on sale, 20% off store-wide. That is MF. 20 and that will run through the end of the weekend. Nothing me gabbing though. Uh, let's go watch Cole freak out. What is up, Mavers? Welcome back to another very exciting video. I'm here with my main man, Cole Slaw, the snagging camera guy right here. Today, we're doing a little bit of a 1v1 challenge. So my good friends at the Hookup Tackle, they hooked me up, as the, the name says, with this $700 rod and reel. I've literally never owned anything this nice in my entire life, I don't think. We'll talk about the specifics of it in just a second, but we're gonna be doing a challenge where, what else are we using, Coleslaw? Walmart hooked me up with this $17 uh, coal pole, as they call it, and uh, I'm gonna be slinging some live bait on this guy. So real quick, let's talk about the specifics of why I have this $700 rod and reel and why Cole has a $17 rod and reel before we hop into the challenge. So the reason I wanted this beautiful, sexy rod right here is because I wanted to throw ultra, ultra light baits. This is gonna be a rod where I throw 1 16th, 1 8th ounce hair jigs, little tiny underspins, even crappie fishing, trout streams, stuff like that. This rod excels for that technique. This is the Mega Bass Destroyer Fleisa model of this spinning rod. It is a seven foot six rod, so it's a really long rod with a super, super soft tip. It's an unbelievably refined JDM everything, as you can see but from the screw lock, the butt, everything, the guides, the wrapping, everything is super, super refined. And of course I had to put a really nice reel on that and I decided to team it up with the old Stratic CI4. This is the 2500 size buttery smooth drag made for all sorts of light baits and handling really big fish that pull hard on drag. Just, it's just a very, very sexy reel that um, I've never had a spinning reel this nice. I'm excited to try it out. Spooled up with some 10 pound uh, braided line and we're gonna do a fluorocarbon leader, probably a six pound fluorocarbon leader. Now for the competitor, this is the ultra not refined Shakespeare micro blue series. This uh, was specifically purchased because it was $17. It was the cheapest rod and reel we could find at Walmart. Somehow it has held up. It is a four foot six ultralight rod spooled up with uh, the line that came on it, which I think is like some shitty four pound test monofilament from Walmart, but it does the trick. It's super, super whippy. Great for fishing for these little stalker fish and micro fishing, stuff like that. So we just hit the store up. We got some minnows we're gonna use for bait. We also have some artificials, all different types of spinners, spoons, hair jigs, stuff like that. Now the rules for the event, we are going to have a one hour challenge. Every 15 minutes, me and Cole are gonna switch off which rod we're going to be using. The rules are though, since we got the super, super refined rod, I don't really just wanna go out and throw a bobber and a minnow on a $700 rod and reel. I'm gonna throw specifically, and Cole, we have to throw specifically artificial baits little tiny baits on that rod whenever we're using it. Obviously, we'll each use that rod two times. And for the cold pole, the entire time, we're going to use live bait on that. So there's kind of a balance there between if you get the advantage of live bait, you have to use the shitty rod. If you have to throw artificial baits and it's a little bit more challenging, you're throwing it on the super nice rod. At the end of the hour, the person with the most trout wins. Okay, so to decide who gets to use what rod first before we start switching off, what rock, paper, scissors? Sure, Rochambeau, whatever it's called. Whatever, winner gets what? The Mega Bass rod first? Winner gets to choose. Winner gets to choose, okay, sounds good. Ready? All right, no, best two out of three, right? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Boom, gotcha. Uh, I'm gonna start with the lead. I'm going with the coal pole first. Okay. Um, I, and so we're gonna switch off each time. You get coal pole last. After I get something tied on. Okay, apparently. fine. Tie something on quick, Cole, and then we'll get the hour started. I guess I'll start. Um, I'll go with the Ben Milliken special. Uh oh, what are you using? Black and yellow. So you used last time. I know. 
I watched your video. I watched Ben catch fish on this lure, so I'm gonna use this lure. I'm gonna tie my special polymer knot. It's special because it's a polymer, and Timmy Polymer was a special dude. You ready? Now I am. Ready? No. Timer starts now. Go. Ooh, one just jumped right there. This cast, amazing. This feels like it cost um, more than $17. Oh, look at that jumping guy. <laughs> yeah, this is a really nice setup. It's pretty, and it feels really nice in the hand. Just the perfect amount of, like, refinement and cork. Feels really nice. Casting is amazing. I know. There's freaking trout everywhere. And we haven't seen anybody catch one yet, which is great. That's what you want, really. Yeah, if you catch a muskie, you win. This thing is like, feels like it's gonna fall apart any second. Everything's so loose, and you tighten the handle as much as you want, it's still just like, destroyed. Oh, Colt, hooked up. Oh, son of a bitch. This is trash. And then I get away from my minnow bucket jumped over my line and then that guy this is incredible should have brought the cast net cole there's one. Oh, he dropped it are you serious oh he's got it now how haha -ha. dude that's bullshit we've got I'm, seven minutes left in the first seven round minutes and, and ben I haven't has lost one? two fish dude I'm taking my minnow bucket over there. I better get a couple before time's up. 15 minutes apparently isn't very long when you're just sitting and waiting. That's what they were doing to me the other day too, just ripping it right off. Got a sharp little size eight hook you'd think would be good. Maybe not. Yeah, this is like torture. Everyone is just having fish jump all around them. No one is getting bit. Got two minutes left in round one. I'm just happy Ben hasn't caught one yet. I'm, you know, going in the second round, if we can be 0-0 zero, zero still, I'll feel better. I definitely think he's going to put a spoon or something on and take the spinner off because I've obviously had no luck. But we'll see what he ends up doing. I've got a little trick up my sleeve for the live bait. And I don't know if he thought about it or if he just has more confidence in his little minnow but you'll see what my trick is in a couple minutes here one minute and 12 seconds to be exact what the hell is wrong with these fish five seconds last cast uh, two oh one oh. <laughs> he missed one at the end all right i get to finish this cast so he no. missed three fish in the first period no timer's done that's the I'm just fourth finishing bite. the cast Freaking pulled it all the way under. Here, we're gonna screw with Cole. Let's take the bobber stopper and put it way up so we can't freaking get dialed in on where we were getting bites at. All right, first round, zero, zero. Yeah, that was a pretty uneventful first round other than I missed four bites. Three of them completely pulled my bobber under. If your rod is $400, they don't put a hook keeper on it, just so you know. I'm going with old trusty faithful guy. Yes, this is my little secret that I was talking oh, about. Oh, Cole's going crawler. Maybe they'll hold on to that better. I mean, I didn't come into this thinking that we weren't going to catch any, but at least it's promising that I had four bites the first time. I thought you missed three. I did, and another, missed... another one bit. You didn't take it under all the way. You missed four. Huh? Mm -hmm. All right, round two. Ready? Ready. Go. go. All right, I switched up to right, this I switched up spoon. To you Cole, get away from me. This little spinner guy, does he work? Probably won't after one cast. Or we'll say one fish. <laughs> oh man, this thing casts so much better <laughs> than what I was using. And my spinner ain't working. There we go, now it's working. I'm seeing some of these trout jump, so I'm gonna kind of freaking haul ass with him. See if they're up top in the water column. I'm sure Cole wasn't trying different retrieves because he's an idiot. <laughs> See Cole, they're jumping right by and you still can't catch them. No. No. <laughs> Are you shitting me? Oh, I'm sorry. Here, for all you MFers out there, 
That's a wet hand. Shit. Because this guy's going back. Look at that. Hooked in the corner of the mouth. Perfect. And one trout. See you, bud. Oh, he's just going to hang out right there for a sec. Still got crawler on my hook. Bye, bud. Just like that. One to zero. It's not good. Crawler, huh? Oh, he popped it. He's on there. No! I let that other one take it like four feet under. I mean, there's they gotta be seeing this. There's so many of them. I'm not gonna say that they can feel it because their stupid lateral lines probably don't even work. They've been inbred so many times at the hatchery. Halfway point through the period, I'm switching up because we've now gone 20 some minutes with no bites in this stupid spinner. I think I'm gonna go hair jig. Something totally different. I don't know if it's gonna pay off for us, but I'm gonna try this guy. It worked the last time I fished in Colorado, so. Little gold head, olive, white river jig. Oh, you adjusted the bubber stop? Mm -hmm. I don't think you'd figure that out. That was the first thing I did. Dang it. Oh yeah, it's more natural anyway. I don't know if they're gonna actually eat it. I'm more interested to see how this rod does with a 16th ounce hair jig, which is kind of why I bought it. Pretty damn good. Still casts good. Jesus. Should have brought a treble hook out like Cole usually does. We're gonna change it up even more. And we're just gonna go minnow head and see what happens. We got like four minutes left in this round. Minnow head for trouts. Ever heard of such a thing? Just like that. Just doing the sit down method. Thinking maybe when you're standing up they can see a little bit better and get spooked and don't swim right in front of you but that's probably not true at all and that's it timer done lines in another great round for me zero fish i quit giving up fishing all i know is this rod is sexy and i like it that is a really nice rod you going with the hair jig to start round three no i'm not are you going with i am no i'm gonna go i'm switching i'm doing minnow still really Dude, I had four bites. I just sucked, and I this time I'm not gonna suck. Multiple bites. Though. Did you? No, I didn't. All right. Ready? Half time's over. Half time is mm. over. Round three. I switched up to just a straight spoon guy. Something different. That's a good idea, Cole. That's just probably what I was gonna tie on too. So mini jerk bait, kinda. I'm glad. I'm going back to minnow. It's going back to minnow. You only caught one last round, right, dickhead? Yes. I'm up one zero, going in the third quarter. This is an important one for me. I need to catch something. Ready? Go. My goal is three this round. And I'm letting them freaking take it. If they swallow it, we're gonna keep them and take them home. There's one. We just needed some sun to help the minnow bite, oh, Cole. No. no. Just take it, bud. No. Yes. <laughs> what, it? what do you mean, why'd I set it? He had it for five seconds. I know, but you can't, can't set, set it. it. You just gotta reel him no. in and be like, please hold on. Please hold on. Dang it. I know the way of the coal pole, okay? <sighs> <laughs> you might be right, Cole. All I know is, this is garbage. Oh for 5. <laughs> oh for 5 on bites. Killing the game out here. Back to my bucket so I can cry. I got a leaf. Just under eight minutes left. Oh. I can't wait to finish the fourth quarter with the live bait rod. Five minutes left in the third period, and it is still one to zero. Come on, minner eaters. Five minute warning, I gotta catch one this period. Have to. Yep, there's a bite. Got him, got him. He got Come on, one. bud, don't get off. Cannot lose this one. This is a big catch. Oh, it's a big one too. No, no. It's a big no. one too. 
No. Oh my, dude, it's like the biggest I'm freaking... cut that line. Don't I'm cut, cut my line. line. Don't cut my line. <laughs> That's a Boom. decent one. I know. That's what I'm stock. saying, dude. Good thing we're doing numbers. Good thing we're doing numbers. If we did size, I'd be whooping you like usual. I always catch bigger fish than you, Cole. Not true. And he didn't swallow it. I got to get back in there. Got to get this lead before the end of the period. It is tied currently. Thanks, bud. All right, let's see it, Tim. You got three minutes. Three minutes? That was about the most nervous I've ever been reeling on fish in my life. Screw the tournaments. This is where the action is. It would be horrible. There's a bite. Yep. Oh, no! Yes. No! I was just going to say, it would be horrible if Ben catches one more. There's one minute left. And he just lost another one. He's got under a minute right now. And it's tied one to one. We're about to enter the fourth period. <laughs> Come on, Minnow. Don't be getting away from me. Get on that hook. 40 seconds. 40 seconds. Oh no. I'm all wrapped. I ain't even gonna get 30 in the water. seconds. All right, we got a chance to do this. 25. Better go over here. Make sure, oh, should I pick this up for him? I'm gonna leave that there and see if he notices. <laughs> it's Timmy's phone over here. 10. Not Siri, get out of here, Siri. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Damn it. Timer done. Damn it. Any fish that he catches right now does not count. <laughs> Says Cole, maker of the fucking rules, apparently. Maker of the rules. <laughs> Dickhead rule maker Cole. Also, do you want your phone? My phone? Yeah. Why? Do you want it? No, I dropped it, didn't I? Where did I drop it at? Choo -choo. I got excited. Cole, what are we going to do if there's sudden death? That's a good question. We each get five minutes with each rod. Yeah, I like that. Or, yeah. Or, I mean, obviously artificial's not working. We each get five minutes with the cold pole. Yeah. Technically. It's true. Okay. And then we race around death. the lake. <laughs> Dude, Does that sudden, sink? Sudden death. My jerk bait sinks. Sudden death is a sprint. A sprint? Nope, not doing it. I got these shoes on. That's the only reason I'll lose. <laughs> Now we'll worry about that if we get to All it. Right, yeah. Ready to start? Fourth quarter. Fourth I'm quarter. Gonna... Are you going minnow? I'm gonna go crawler again. Back to crawler, I like it. Breaking the action. Going into the fourth quarter. Good luck, there's hardly any in there. Oh yeah. Mango hob also. Ooh. Starts now. Let's go. 15 minutes, this is big Cole. Fucking big. All right, jerk and stick. Kind of a weird little jerk bait. It, uh, sinks which is interesting but the hooks are sharp has a nice little wobble i might just straight reel it a few times i'm just kind of thinking like we've had no luck on a moving bait whether that be a spinner a spoon a hair jig nothing has worked so a little bit different i got one already first cast uh -oh. over that little juice hole he's got it uh-oh <laughs> he does not got it. Stop, Cole. Ben's laughing at me, but watch, they're just gonna attack it again instantly. Cause that crawler's so yummy. Oh no. Oh no. And that's a fish. I showed Cole the freaking honey hole, and now here he is. Don't screw it up. Oh! Shit. Everyone here's looking at us. Cole lost a winning fish. I just feel like I'm not going to catch anything. Lost him. That's what I mean, though. You let him take it for literally until your bobber is three feet underwater and they still don't have it good enough. We're using sharp hooks. Look what I just found. A little fly guy. I'm just going to start casting over you. <laughs> playing defense, huh? Yep. Sure, it's not like playing offense. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. 
Cole, you gotta set the hook, dude. No, you don't. <laughs> you gotta set the hook, or else they'll come off when you're fighting them. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Still got crawler on there, though. My crawler got pulled down and almost covered the hook point. He just couldn't quite get hooked on there. I was about to go minnow. I guess we are halfway through and you already screwed up, so. I screwed up twice, dude. Just as good a chance you'll screw up twice again. Correct. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna let that sit there for a second. Oh, you put the pole down, it's a forfeit. <laughs> that wasn't the rules. I'm gonna take my minnow bucket over there and watch one swallow it while <laughs> Oh, he did too, it's gone. He's gonna take it. It my... is gone. Go, pole! <laughs> Steal that pole! Pole oh, left unattended. He let go of pole it. Pole left unattended, that's a penalty. That's a half fish penalty. Dude, he let go of it right when I picked the rod up. Cole's under a lot of pressure right now. I am, we got seven minutes left and I have to catch one trout. You don't got time to catch another one, Cole. You're screwed. I'm gonna try to spook him. <laughs> Cole got the wrong species. I knew that wasn't a trout. That's a half stroke penalty. How much time, Cole? Five minutes and 25 seconds. <laughs> you dickhead. Distract How much time me. is it? No, that's not a trout, is it? Ooh, <laughs> that was a trout. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Cole, you can't freaking, you gotta set it. Are you kidding me? I might as well just freaking sit and watch and hope. Because hoping would work better than this freaking artificial. Dude. Oh. I got something big. What did I hook? <laughs> On the jerk bait? <gasps> it's a trout! It's it was just sitting there! It was just sitting there! It's a trout, are you kidding me? Boom! You snagged, snagged him! him. <laughs> it does not count. That does not count. Dude. MFers? That's a legal catch. He tried to eat it. <laughs> that is not legal. Cole, you're one to talk. We didn't say how we caught him, folks. That's why I put this guy on. Oh, I thought it was a musty. Well, he was pulling hard because he was snagged. Mm -hmm. Well, he tried to eat it, then he got snagged. All right, two to one. <laughs> Still one to one, folks. <laughs> oh, that's great. How did I snag him? I wasn't Three even moving and my 40 bait. seconds, because they're loaded right here. Look at them. I can't even unsnag him. He's in so good. Well, can I have your guy? Yep. Because I'm gonna wear a hook otherwise. You need to get it? Yeah. You need to wait and let one eat it anyway. I know. Like that? Dude! All right. Are you kidding me right now? Thanks for playing, bud. Cole, that one doesn't count. You can't catch him. Here's this back. Take your time. Hope I don't get tangled in your line. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes and 30 seconds. Two minutes? You ain't gonna catch one, Cole. This is a horrible fourth quarter. Pretty sure a bluegill has it. Nope. Nope. That could be the winning fish. Just don't lose him this time, Cole. Don't lie, oh, lost him! <laughs> Here comes the putter throw! <laughs> <laughs> don't throw that, Cole. It was $17. Get this thing off of my line right now. How did you lose that one? Good question. Please, 40 seconds. It's gotta be, you gotta touch it by zero. Ten, nine. <laughs> oh, right no. at one, not even kidding. <laughs> How much time's left? It's literally went off right now. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you exploded the cold pole! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> the real <laughs> just exploded <laughs> off of it! <laughs> oh my god, that was the best thing I've seen! Yes! Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I wish you guys could have seen the reel just boom exploded off the rod. 
Oh my Literally, god, that was said great. It has to be bit by four, the Woo. one second mark. And he ate it right when it happened. And now we don't have a cold pull anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it didn't stop and go in the lake. That was a good throw, Cole. You threw it all the way across the cove. Oh, it snapped. Poor Cole pull. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's dead. I hate it anyway. I can't set the hook. I missed 10 trout. You did, Cole. You sure did. <laughs> well, now what do we do? Sudden death with the Mega Bass? I guess so. We gotta, we gotta put a new rig on. Don't worry. There's your bobber. I was gonna say, I felt it dragging along somewhere. <laughs> Look, we can just take this whole crawler. The crawler's still on there, what do you know? Yeah, you can, Cole. That's good shit. That's good shit. We just gotta get a new bobber stop. No, just tie this as a leader. <laughs> <laughs> totally could, huh? Uh -huh. You're so resourceful, Cole. Okay, one rod. We, we each, we don't have one versus one anymore. We gotta use one rod. Which we each, we're gonna do anyway. We were, we each get five minutes and we gotta decide who goes first because that's important. Rock, paper, scissors, best two out, of two. two out of three for who goes first. Well, you, you get to decide if you wanna go first or last. Ready? <laughs> Damn it. Um. I want to go first. You want to go first? Okay. Man, Cole, that was some. That was exciting watching you lose all those. I enjoyed that. That was really I good. So. <laughs> that was entertaining to say the least. All right. Five minute warning. Five minute starts it now. Start? When did it start? It started. <laughs> it already started. Thanks, Tim. How much time, Cole? How much time? My minnows are ready to rock. You should just tie that jerk bit back on and start ripping. It's not looking good for you, man. The bite window really shut down. Three, two, one. Boom. Cole left the door wide and open. Let's yeah, yeah. go. Let's go. I got to catch one. Double overtime is nothing. The fans decide what no, is the tiebreaker. Double tie overtime is another five minutes. And then no. third is a race. Sudden <laughs> a race. I get a 100 foot head start and we're going 110 feet. Your All timer. Right. No, it's not started yet. You got to rig your f***ing worm. And you held my pole for... All right, go for it. Give me four last seconds or two last seconds. You started. It's going? Yep. Perfect. We're going minnow for my round. All right, we just need one guy. Just one guy. Get away from it, Cole. Look, my guy's already scared because there's trout all around him. Three minutes and 25 seconds. I don't like that. Don't like that. Loose. You was, did that, didn't you? Oh yeah. god, I'm eight. No! I said it way too soon, but I had to. Cole, get out of here. <laughs> You're already trying to mess with me putting the cold pole in the way. Can't even get a minnow now. A bunch of trouble. Ow, there there's too. freaking line. Ow? Did you say ow? Yeah, it grabbed ow, my. There, ow, there's line. <laughs> some bitch grabbed my pinky. Get away from me, Cole. I got fish to catch. Yes, I did crank that drink super Yeah. Right before I handed it. <laughs> That's neat, Cole. I already got one. Jeez. Got him too. We're horsing this some bitch. We're horsing him for the win. We're horsing him for the win. No, Cole. No, Cole. I'm the champion. <laughs> I'm the best trout fisherman alive. What can I say? I need to start working on my speech, my winning speech. In the lip. Viewers at home can see that I did not catch him illegally like Cole did with his that I didn't get to see. You won with two minutes and 20 seconds or so. That just proves it. This rod's nicer than the $17 rod. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Mostly because it's all in one piece right now. <laughs> that was fun. Good work, Cole. Hello, Cole. I beat you in fish, but. You definitely beat me in total distance of rod thrown. <laughs> definitely. I was going to say you beat me in tantrums, but I think I threw it about three more times than you. But total distance, you got me. I don't know. My one freak out was pretty loud. That was very loud. Yeah. Loudest freak out of the day. Mm. Disappointing. Disappointing. Cole lost so many fish. I can't believe, like you lost them at your feet. Right. You lost like one out further, but they were all right there for the most part. Mm -hmm. It's a good time though. If you guys want to see more challenge videos, definitely. <laughs> 
good time because I won. If you want to see more challenge videos, definitely drop a comment below. And just comment what challenge you want to see next, and we'll probably do it. Also, if you want to check out that super expensive rod, it fish is awesome. It should for what it costs. But, uh, again, I got it from the hookup tackle. I'll link it down below. If you guys want a cold pole, Walmart's sold out of, like, all their rods right now. Maybe it's back in stock. Um, maybe we'll sell this one. Should we give it away to a fan? No. Okay, we will not be we will not be giving that away. You don't want it. You don't want it. It's destroyed. But yeah, thanks for watching this one. If you guys want to see more challenge videos, hit the subscribe button and drop a comment right down below. Catch you very soon. Peace.